Hello there. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to install Apache Virtual Hosts. I mean, not install, set up Apache Virtual Hosts. This will basically allow you to set up, create multiple websites. So the first thing you would want to do is, yeah, delete that. Actually, first we would like to set up our DNS. Um, we're going to be learning Apache uh, Virtual Hosts soon. But for the DNS, suppose you want to use like, um, now I'm going to real quickly go to my domain registrar. And I'm going to log in. Uh, sign in. There you go. So once I've logged in, uh, you what you would want to do is simply go to profile, not profile, domain panel, and um, you just ignore the rest. Now suppose I want to change my computing essentials website. All right. So what I would do is I'm going to add the domain. The domain name is going to be okay computing if i can spell it properly computing essentials dot tk and ip address is basically this ip address i'm gonna copy that paste it or you could just use this and it'll automatically set the ip address then you go to create domain and it will have this all right so now the next thing you would want to do is change the name servers so you would copy this and then paste it in here and copy the other one and then paste it in here so that's what you would do basically but i don't need to right now i don't want to change it but anyways once you've set that up it, it will automatically um it'll take 48 hours to propagate this thing but it'll automatically redirect your website to your droplet so that you can open that up but we're here to learn how to set up apache virtual hosts so let's say um now i'm having two of my websites one is computing essentials um, and one is uh, just a minute, create new directory, and the other one is connect. All right, so I'm gonna set both of those up. Um, and there we go. All right, so I'm gonna press OK. So both of them are set up now. Is the directory structure all right? So in here, you would want to create a new file saying one will be public, public html underscore html um you could really do anything with that oh not a new file sorry a new folder saying public underscore html save that then you'd create another directory saying logs basically all right so we're going to save that i'm going to copy this we're just simply going to paste it in here also um, all right, you can't paste that. Um, so we're gonna quickly do that again. Public underscore HTML. Um, create new directory logs. Now in the logs, you have to create two logs. Um, I didn't do that before for some reason. So one is going to be the access dot log, and the next one is going to be the error dot log log save that then we're going to go in this we're going to do the same thing create new file access dot log and error dot log anyways so once we've saved that we can go all the way up to our etc folder just where the ww is etc will be there so so basically you go to f just in here you just put that and press enter so you'll get this and bin etc there we go so now you would want to locate apache 2 there we go and in here i'll come in just a moment because we need to set up some stuff so we're going to delete both of these and we're going to go back here sites enabled we're going to delete this all right um, delete sim link all right so once we've done that I'm going to real quickly come back I'm going to have an Apache virtual host file and then yeah all right so I'm real quickly going to create a new file and basically what you're going to do is mm, just a minute all right so you're going to get a complete uh, you're going to type your domain and then type um, remove everything from the dot till the end I'm gonna save that 
and you're going to right click and view edit and once that opens up uh, I have this you can just um, basically okay I, I copied it from the geek stuff so that's why it's showing you could just use your own custom email address I'm just I'm, I'm actually going to do um, admin at computing essentials dot tk and document root this is where your documents root is so it's going to be I'm kind of confused right now all right yeah so it's going to be forward slash var forward slash www forward slash um yeah computing essentials forward slash forward slash computing essentials forward slash public underscore html public underscore html um then server name would be computing essentials dot tk Mm, there you go. Yep. Then you paste that in the server alias and error log. So it's going to be slash var slash www slash com computing essentials slash logs logs slash error dot log. Yeah, we don't really need that access dot log, but yeah. Um so I'm just going to real quickly copy this whole thing and you can close out that yes I'm just really quickly going to close close all but this and then close that out anyways so yeah yes and then we're going to create our new file that's going to be connect again you type the whole domain name but then you remove dot and everything including the dot at the end basically then you click on view edit and paste that same thing again and we're going to I'm going to keep the uh, email as say as the same thing but we're going to, we're going to change this connect then server name is going to be con connect.tk and then server alias oh I made a mistake we have to have the www at the beginning by the way, I'm going to set that up on the other one real quickly. Connect. And in here, we're going to change this. Connect slash error dot log. And then we're going to save that. And we're going to edit this real quick. <clears throat> and in here, we're going to add the www also. So once you've done that, you're going to save that. Now is the big task. We have to add the sim link. I'm real quickly going to clear this. <coughs> um, then we're going to go to cd slash um, etc slash apache2 um, slash sites available. I'm going to go to that. ls. Okay, one minute. Mm, sorry about that. Go up there one minute. Mm, am I recording? Yep. So we're going to go to sites enabled. Um, just a minute. I'll be right back. I'm kind of confused over here. All right. So I got a bit confused over there. No, anyways. So what you would want to do? Actually, you can. Yeah, I'd recommend you do this all the way from the root directory. No, so first thing, go to your sites available. And copy this and paste uh, and then you're gonna do L ln dash s and then press space and right click and do forward slash <coughs> just a minute <coughs> yeah sorry about that um, then you're going to basically do this whole thing so we're gonna type in computing essentials all right now don't put this slash over here it is going to screw everything up then you press space and then um <coughs> just go back and <coughs> sorry yeah inside enabled you're going to copy this whole thing and we're going to paste it here and forward slash computing essentials 
hopefully that does it now if we refresh there should be a sim link and okay did it screw up or anything hopefully not I think we have to put that uh -huh. all right so actually we don't really need to do any of that now um, I'm gonna pause this just to check if I have any errors and come right back all right so I was correct I didn't make any mistakes so yeah now we're gonna uh, basically copy the same thing with uh, so you're not supposed to put the forward slash at any of these N even over here you're not supposed to put the forward slash at the end nor do we have to put it over here I'm really quickly going to do connect again and then all the way back over here we're going to do the same thing if I can do it properly and connect and press enter hopefully that does it <clears throat> I'm gonna refresh all right so we have both of those now we can <clears throat> excuse me I'm having some problems <laughs> anyways so you can simply <clears throat> do service apache restart it might be apache 2 actually all right yep it's apache 2 um there we go so it restart to that so now we have set both of those up you need to set those in uh, here also so we're gonna real quickly do that connect dot tk and we're going to select that droplet and create domain and then you need to do the same thing that I showed you before you basically go to your registrar and choose your name servers so anyways that's it for today don't forget to rate comment and subscribe